all those brothers that was in FBG, when they was young like that, they wouldn't have never thought in a million years that FBG Butter would be telling and that Lil J would be a homosexual. All the, the brothers that you hanging around with, gang ganging with, shooting at people with, stabbing, fighting, and cussing, and getting drunk, high and all, two of them in your clique right now is Lil J and FBG Butter. The reason why you don't know it yet is because the opportunity has not presented itself yet. Let them go to jail. Let them get charged with murder. Then you're going to see what I'm talking about. If you hood educated, I'm glad you made it. Allow me to unfold my knowledge, wisdom, and understanding from a hood brother's point of view to all of you here, there, and everywhere. Now check me out. A viral video is all over the internet, right? Of Lil J, a famous rapper out of Chicago. I'm talking about famous. Uh, choking a transgender man in the Cook County Jail. And when they asked the trans, when the police asked the transgender what happened, the transgender man said that he got mad at me, talking about Lil J, he got mad at me because uh, I didn't respond to him or I didn't uh, answer him, some to that effect. If you wanna see the video, uh, click the link down there in my comment section. Go to my channel and, and, and y'all can check it out. I don't want to put that on there because it's violent. He choking this man and stuff like that. So I don't put that type of stuff on my channel. But you can go to the, click the link that's going to be pinned in the top of the comment section and you can go see the video, right? Now, it's been accusations that Lil J been a homosexual for a couple of years now. Um, his rappy, FBG Butter, came out to penitentiary and was telling the world that Lil J is gay, right? He letting everybody know that Lil J up in there, you know, engaging in homosexual activity. Lil J came out, and I'm talking about ignore. I'm talking about, I'm saying, no, nah, he just saying that because he told on me. It's just a big mess. And Lil J put out all of FBG Butter's paperwork showing that FBG Butter told on him. Not only that, there's another video of FBG Butter telling on Lil J. Why am I talking about this? Let me explain to y'all. This right here is a cold-blooded demonstration for the youth to learn from. And let me explain to you why. When I was coming up in the game and people that's, that's as classic as I am, we would hear stuff and, you know, somebody he might have. And, you know, we needed a witness, though. You know what I mean? Dude, tell him. We need paperwork. Uh, dude, engaging in homosexual activity. How you know? You know, we go run up on a homosexual and apply pressure to him. And the homosexual say, okay, yeah, you know, we've been doing this. But that, that, that. You see what I'm saying? Like, that was things we had to do. But now this stuff is displayed on the television. You can see it. Now for you youngsters, understand something. Them FBG Butter and Lil J could be you. Oh no, hood educated. I would never, I would never. Listen, let me tell you something. When I was doing my time, there was a lot of brothers in there engaging in homosexual activities that I would have never thought a day in my life. Look, it was one brother, when they came and told me that one of the brothers was demonstrating uh, with the, you know, with the man engaging in homosexual activity, I almost got into a fight because I didn't want to believe it. Hey, look, bro, don't be don't be bearing no false witness against that brother. Hey, listen, bro, don't come to me talking about one of the brothers like that, brother. Matter of fact, let me go get the brother. 
So you can tell him, I'm upset. You don't talk about my peoples like that, right? But then it came out that this brother was engaging in homosexual activity. I never thought in my mind. He, the brother that was doing it, probably never thought in his mind that he would ever engage in an act like that. But that penitentiary, that jail, is pressure. Pressure on the mental. And if you weak-minded, your mind would allow you to entertain the thought that a man is a woman. And that's how they get them. So for all you young brothers who might think that, hey, yeah, man, I would never, I would never. All right. Like I always say, get in the situation first, then tell me what you would do. Butter. Told on his rappy, Lil J. A lot of brothers say, man, I would never tell. Get in the situation first and then tell me if you would never tell. Be faced with 5,500,000 years or your life in the penitentiary or be faced with the death penalty. Then tell me if you won't tell. All that petty stuff, that's nothing. Have, be looking at some football numbers. Then tell me if you would tell. Here it is. We got two young gangsters. This boy Lil J wasn't no joke out there. FBG Butter? Come on, man. FBG Butter? Man, them people said this boy was... And he will fight too. Like, he with both of them. He'll do both of these. But when them people got to talking about that time, something got to give. Butter said, I can't do all that time like that. So what I'm trying to tell you, young brothers, is this right here. Y'all can see that these guys was two gangsters, gang bangers. You young brothers can see this. Understand that FBG Butter and Lil J is in your circle right now. All the, the brothers that you hanging around with, gang ganging with, shooting at people with, stabbing, fighting, and cussing, and getting drunk, high and all, two of them in your clique right now is Lil J and FBG Butter. The reason why you don't know it yet is because the opportunity has not presented itself yet. Let them go to jail. Let them get charged with murder. Then you're going to see what I'm talking about. Because you got to believe all those brothers that was in FBG, when they was young like that, they wouldn't have never thought in a million years that FBG butter would be telling and that Lil J would be a homosexual. They wouldn't have never thought that. But when that pressure got applied... There it is. So what I'm trying to tell you young brothers right now is that when that pressure get applied to somebody in your circle, if it's not you, you're going to see what time it is. You're going to realize, okay, dang, man, you know that classic brotherhood educated, he wasn't lying. Because now this pressure being applied, these brothers is flip-flopping and doing all type of stuff. So to save yourself from all that, get out the way. Stop doing things that can get you sent to the penitentiary. Stop doing things where you can catch a murder, attempted murder, assault and battery, robbery. Change your circle. Stop hanging around them guys that commit all them crimes. Stop hanging around them guys that be game banging like that. Find you a new group of friends. Find you a new group of people to socialize with. If not, find you a hustle. A legit hustle. Because once you find you a legit hustle, your nose to the ground. You hustling. You ain't got time to game bang. 
You ain't got time to be running up behind your gang friend. You ain't got time to be shooting, stabbing, robbing, fighting. Why? Because you hustling. You trying to get some money. And if that's not enough, and you got kids, go be a father to your children. Give, the, give your children the time of day that you giving all this nonsense. Because they well worth it. These fools here ain't worth nothing. This is Hood Educated, not Lane related. Peace and love and y'all take care of yourself out there. If I said anything that caused you to think, please hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed to the channel already and give me a like. And if you're feeling generous, please make a small donation to the channel. Peace and love. Thank you.